for seven years. I even liked it. For insubordination, got blacklisted and they zeroed my bank account. Ended up driving a cab. Ouch. Now the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Fuck you! At least I got to know my way around the city. Oh. You're too weak. Without an inhibitor, you won't last. Didn't I smash everything in sight last time you gave it to me? That was just the first time. But then it gets better. If you survive, of course. Catch! You're telling me I could have died? If I hadn't given it to you, you would have died anyway. So, why are you helping me? I know people are generally scared of you guys. But one pilgrim saved my life. I was a pilgrim. Now I'm infected. It'll be much harder to travel. <laughs> then welcome to your new beginning, my friend. Check out this place. They're like treasure chests. Usually got good stuff in them. Check it out. I'll wait. People hide a lot of things in places like this. In case someone can't make it back to a shelter before dark. What's that? C crystals. Someone must have stashed them here. They formed after the chemicals were dumped on us. Some believe they delay infection. Folk superstition. So you don't collect them? Sure I do. Superstitious people pay a fortune for them. And I am always happy to take someone's cash. There's one specific chest I'm after. Come on, let me show you. Come on! Stop! So, you have an army here? Oh, the peacekeepers. They treat people like that too. Watch out for them. They guard the tunnel you want to go through. On the trail, I met a lot of tough guys who talked about the New Order. It always seemed like the same old shit to me. Yeah, it's like that here too. And the PKs are getting worse. 
Tell me more about them. They consider themselves righteous protectors. Uh, they are good at killing infected, so you got to give them credit for that. Yeah, pretty efficient killers. Yeah, but their righteousness comes with a price. Always remember this. You either play by their rules, or you're fucked. Their protection of the bazaar is more like an occupation. I'll proceed with caution. Good. Though it might not help. The PK are a pain. Seriously riling up the bazaar, folks. The bazaar is a box of dynamite one spark away from blowing up. Hey, are we going? You uh, wanted to show me something? Sure, follow me. No surprises. It's getting dark. They are about to wake up. Quickly, open the chest. In return, we'll get your biomarker. Fuck. Thieves. Wait. No, 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 leave it. Mess up that lock and everything's fucked anyway. Enough for a biomarker? Where'd you get that? I've been all over this city more than most, but even I haven't seen working GRE equipment for years. I can't say much, but a former GRE scientist, Dylan, gave it to me. A guy named Waltz killed him. And before he died, Dylan gave me the key to keep it from Waltz. It contains important information, apparently. I hope to find out more at the fish eye. We'll have to see, won't we? Fuck me. We took too long. Plan me. Run like hell. Find the UV lamp. The bazaar. We can make it. Follow me. Quick. They're close. Go on. In the light. Uh, Hakon, uh, come on, open up now. Hakon, a howler's coming. Biomarkers. There's no time. We've got a howler on our asses. Biomarkers. Did you hear? Behind us. I said biomarkers. Here. And his? He's with me. I have to see his biomarker. Let us just inside the door at least. I need to see uh, his biomarker. How about some electronics, huh? Open up! Oh, oh, oh. You piece of... Run, Aiden! 
almost got us. Don't look back! Run! Faster! There's more and more of the maiden. Friends here, Killian. huh? Keep them busy. Killian! Fuck! Killian! Come on! Killian! Took over my body this morning and get killed! Trouble loves company. Damn it, Gillian! Should have waited a while longer! Almost did. Didn't want to clean your guts off my doorstep in the morning. They've left, so can you. Oh, come on, stop being such a bastard already! Look at this! Where did you...? That's rare. Invite us in, or it'll get even more rare. Who is this? I'm a pilgrim. Haven't been here long, have you? How did you get into town? I'll tell you everything. Just let us in. I waited for a pilgrim once. He was supposed to... Ah, oh, forget it. Doesn't matter anymore. What are you up to, hack on her? Huh? I gave him an inhibitor. He survived. Are you mad? He needs a biomarker. Don't have one. Bullshit. Seriously. <sighs> Motherfucker. The hospital then. I was hoping to avoid it. Always looking for an easy way, huh, hack on? I just need a UV lamp. I'll come back for you. Hold tight. Hack on. Why are you helping him, huh? Remember when we used to help people? Me? Sure. But I doubt you do. Stay here and rest by the lamp. Don't listen to that dumbass.
to help the people, remember? Sure, I remember you, moron. Everyone around you said that's what you should do. Life would have been easier. No night runners, no hack ons, no problems. My name is Anton Novak, and I'll be a fucking legend! Uh, sorry. Uh, I couldn't help myself. I'm recording this for you, Pops. You wanna hear a secret? And when you do, I bet you'll be ashamed of yourself. All my life, you told me I wouldn't amount to anything. But then I became a PK. what did you do? Called me a traitor. And Dad's blamed that the PK don't give a shit about us people of the bazaar. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Pops. There ain't no one I don't give a rat's ass about, Pops. I'll show you what I'm made of. Today, some guy I didn't recognize approached me. Said if I was looking to be a hero, I was looking in the wrong place. And that I have potential. I never heard that from you. Said to meet him on the roof of the old textile factory at midnight. You wanted something else. Higher fucking causes. And you could just... cook. Now what's wrong with Hakon giving me inhibitors? Kills most people in seconds. It's a powerful drug. Most can't handle it. But I survived. I said most. So don't get excited. Just be careful with them. Biomarkers. Why are they so hard to get? Because they're complicated devices. Hell, the factories that made them have been out of commission for years. Biomarkers are keyed to blood. They can't be reused after someone sinks with it. Without them, the infection runs unchecked. Like what's happened to you. That's why people pay a fortune to get a new one. All the money and crystals they have. Fortunately, me and Hakon found a place where they can still be made. You and Hakon, you known each other long? Too long. What did he mean when he said that you used to help people? We served together in a special... Ah, uh, doesn't matter, ancient history. Where can I rest? So you just got into town. What brought you here? This ain't the promised land. Far from it. I need to get to the fisheye. And Hakon's helping you get there? You seem like a good kid, but... Take my advice. Don't go doling out trust like penny candy. Hell, how do you know you can trust me? Okay, enough jabber. Go to sleep. Nothing to be done till morning anyway.
got beef? <laughs> yeah, very funny. Did you make it? Almost. Biomarkers are at the GRE hospital. I'll be there shortly, but to get the job done, I need you to join me. Where should I go? With Killian's door to your back, you'll be pointing right at it. Hold the line. Vuen rent. Keep to the roofs, because if the howler spots you. Yeah, I know. I don't want to go up against any of those anytime soon. Once I was taking my second wife to the hospital. Never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke three months early. You have kids? There was no saving that one. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? is broken. Don't worry. Find the old bus. The bus? At zero hour, a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. You can use it to get inside. Since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. At the main entrance. I marked a safe route for you. I'm waiting by the lobby. Hey! This way. Big building, huh? GRE took over quite a few of these for drug research. Here. They paid them loads of money. What was the result? 
A lot of shit. You know how to open locks? Sure. Turn the key. What if you don't have a key? Hakon, I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I think this room should have all the instruments you need, Maestro. I found some scrap. You can make lockpicks out of that. You didn't lie. You know your stuff. I had no other choice. Was forced to know my stuff. <laughs> oh, what the hell?
What are you doing? Mia, not on the wall. Stop talking and give me your hand. Aiden. Everything okay? Yeah. Are you sure? God. Talk to me. I'm just feeling woozy all of a sudden. It must be the infection. Don't give in. We'll get you a marker and you'll know where you stand. Yeah, thanks. When they lost control of the virus, the GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh?
So, this guy you told me about, what was his name? Waltz? Yes. Why did you mention him? Because I remember he was doing some kind of experiment. <sighs> he wasn't the only one doing them. There were more cities like Villador, with walls cut off from the rest of the world. Many people were working toward a vaccine, Eden. But, well, the world is full of shitheads. I guess so. <laughs> Can you climb up? Sure, just give me a sec. Hurry. We're running out of time. Can't make it. Wait. I've got an idea. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier at the girls' workshop? Inhibitors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength back.
He won't. Besides, he'd have to catch us, too. Come on! Don't back out now! Don't be a chicken, Adie.
I took the inhibitor. Fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I'll wait. <sighs> Did, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? <laughs> about that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. <laughs> You're about to turn. Get into the light fast. Close. Oh, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? <laughs> I never wanted to become a Pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. I roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. Sister? Yeah, her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together. I think a guy named Waltz was experimenting on us. A lot of nut jobs in the world, huh? Yeah. I have to learn the truth. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I haven't thought about that. Well, that's odd. Well, there'll be time for that, once I find her. Once you find her? Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me. Right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret this, Aiden. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. 
Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. See the church? That's where the howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. Uh huh. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things.
Sometimes I can't sleep because of the awful sounds the infected outside make. of circumstance. <clears throat>
going. What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Five years of learning and all for nothing. The mood for I just have money. to get it right this time. Easy enough. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then, I hit it! Our goats! They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place. Full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever is left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic! Heaven must have sent you! Now here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. Man, I'm to end up drinking my old pee. Someone's got to do something about the water situation. You're new here, aren't you? Might have some work for you. Hey, that's the jump. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Bevan says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! I 
sister found some weird tapes in Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. So, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe... Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except... Well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you.
Hey, that's the pill. Watch out for specials out there. The chemicals turn some zombies into monsters straight from hell. Please, back off. You're making me uncomfortable. I ain't leaving the bazaar today. The wind is blowing from the east. That's a bad omen. Keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. I said back off, you weirdo. Stay away from the chemicals, bro. Shit will burn you. Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Now then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived. Including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time. I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old. And it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes. Swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there. Those psychos from the GRE. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash. Others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? 
And unofficially, apparently some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest, well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the Central Loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. They seem to have some kind of other disease. They won't let you near. Everything all right? No. It's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See? He's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you uh, uh, a... a... Uh, a... Craftmaster? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. 
I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come round to my Craftmaster workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. Yeah, she knows. Pilgrim, take my advice. Leave the city before you get trapped here for good.
Fuck you. Stay alert. Ready for this? We got to have this. George incoming. Nail the fucker. Prepare to die. This won't end well. Hans? Hans, you there? No escape now. Let Pete Timber left. You better stay the fuck back. You ain't getting away. You sure you want to do this? You're all out. Hans? Water. <coughs> oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this... Uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. Hans? 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 Are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. Shit. That may have been poison, Hans. One sip. Then I spat the shit right out. Must have mixed up the bottles again. Whatever. Wait, whatever? Are you usually this calm about being poisoned? Who gives a shit? Not my wife, I bet. Don't think she loves me anymore. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> my wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do.
Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. Wait, what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plastic. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything. Meet me on the roof, near the main metro station.
Okay, kid. All right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Wait. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Wait, fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Yeah, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. So, you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Not quite. At least, I, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. They'll blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again! I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian! I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. Gotcha, you son of a bitch! Try this, asshole! Hey there, jackass! Looks like a sure. got it. Uh, uh, got you now, jackass! Uh, you like me now, asshole? Uh, yeah. Can you take it?
Hey, little guy. Where are your parents? I'm not little. Okay, sure. What are you doing here alone? I'm on an important mission. Oh, a mission, huh? All right, what kind of mission? Sacred mission, of course. Super secret. And I ain't telling you. Would you tell me if I offered to help? I don't need any help. But if you gotta know, I'm fetching food for my parents. I do it all the time. No biggie. Seems dangerous. Couldn't your parents at least come with you? Nope. Like I said, no biggie. I can handle it. I can handle anything. Hey, listen. You're incredibly brave. But I'd really like to help. I suppose I could bring you on board. Heck, I could even pay you. How's that? So now kids are hiring me. Why not? What are your orders, sir? There's a shop on West Horizon Lane, just before you hit the chemical zone. I was loading backpacks with food when those nasties showed up and chased me out. Bring me those backpacks, and I'll give you a super weapon. My dad's weapon. So, the mission's to get food for your parents. Yeah, that's right. And you can deliver it to our home. We live on the edge of the chemical zone. Only place where my parents are safe. Hmm. It would be best to get the backpacks at night, when the infected aren't around. Sure, if you say so. I don't know. But you'll do it, right? I can't promise anything. But we'll see. Ah, oh, okay. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Inhibitor container detected. kids in Let's figure out this ridiculous blockade in the center. You know more people kill themselves than are killed by virus these days. Just this is kind of
What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into his supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bazaar Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco... is dead. I... I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Yeah, keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. Hakon. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. 
Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can't handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels.
I'm in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the PK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station.
I got to the flare. Look around. The tech will turn out for your information. Be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. Be right back. I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Where did he come from? 
He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like a renegade. He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lot saw nothing, heard nothing? And you managed to forget about the ban on passage. Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth. And you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said... Lucas is said... dead. And now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. Looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. <clears throat> Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, well, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer, Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar, horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals, doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you... You're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look. We are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So, will you help me?
So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Velador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information, and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Hey, Hakon. Are you there? Aiden, buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah, I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. You must help us. Otherwise, there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you What did they want from you? If you've been there like you said you'd be, I... <sighs> oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Ato doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Ato said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. And he believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch.
Hubert? No, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You know when he'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. But wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Yeah, sure. Isn't someone escaping you right now? Hack on. He's running away. Nah, sounds like Yubi. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Asso's running to the northeast. Faster, Aiden. You almost got him. God. He's not here. Oh, impossible. I saw him right there. That little weasel must be hiding. Look around. Oh, wait. I see him. He's climbing. See that GRE building? He's climbing to the roof. How you like me now, motherfucker? I've got you now. Don't <laughs> Gotcha, you piece of 
Hubert! I just want to talk! <laughs> Leave me alone. I ain't done it. <laughs> don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear. I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way. A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. Know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on, everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange. Because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro.
duck. I've got you now, motherfucker. You're dead now, fucker. Here. Have this, motherfucker. Yeah, baby. I got something for you, you piece of shit. negative about things, Naira. Because... The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. What do you perceive? Oh, oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. So, who are you and what are you doing here? Before the fall, I used to work in a fragrance manufacturing company. I consider myself lucky to have been professionally active within the only century when the world actually smelled nice. Now it's back to normal. So I asked myself, how can I change that? What scent would make people the most happy in this miserable world? I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are gonna pay a fortune for just a whiff. I called it, Turn Me On. And it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. A uh, heart note? Hmm, the middle note of the perfume. Metal scraps and lavender. That's all I'm missing. Oh, of course. Metal scraps and lavender. The obvious blend. Naira goes out of her way to be... Uh, controversial. If you bring me some, I'll tell you everything about my secret formula. Naira said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hm. Now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Naira wants them. I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal? <laughs> Sounds absurd. Here, your, uh, ingredients. Mmm, good. I wish there was more oil on the metal scraps, but... Oh, Naira, can't you just be thankful for what you've got for once? She gives me this shit every day, I swear. Okay. Okay. Voila! It's ready. Here, smell it. Wow. It smells... It's... Oh, boy, it's like heaven. What is it? Silly little boy. 
Too young to know, aren't you? It's new car smell. A... a car? Are you disappointed? The scent of luxury is the bass note, the smell of confidence is the heart note, and the fragrance of risk and adventure is the head note. All you dream about is to turn it on and drive away into the distance. Thanks so much for helping me out. Unlike some people. Here, have this. I rubbed it with Turn Me On. This'll remind you to tune into your sense of smell now and then.
Shithole indeed. <sighs> hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. What's so funny? Maya ain't a grown-up. She's just a plain old girl. What? You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens so a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits cause I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's a Watsit over? Are you nuts? The who's a Watsits real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay. I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal! Nobody wanted to buy it anyway.
Hakon, I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. Ah, oh, the Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there. And I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me? Or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. 
They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux, pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you've found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. One's right. The war with the renegades ain't no good. One's opposed. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. Jeez, you'll see. Don't be afraid. I need to get myself a new weapon at the armory. Yeah. 